Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. I'm Adrian here with Modio, and today we're going to be talking about lights, cameras, and Z space. And if that doesn't get you excited, I don't know what will. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to create a new composition. Let's just make it 720. First, I'm just going to create some text so I can show you how the camera works. All right, so we have a piece of text. Now what we need to do to make this work with the camera is enable the 3D switch, which is underneath this cube shape here. It's the last checkbox um, in the set of options here. So now that that's on, our layer is 3D. Now what does that mean that it's 3D? Well, if you twirl down the options, you'll see that the position and the rotations have changed. When you flip on the switch, you'll see that there's additional options. The one on the end of position is what's called the Z space, which changes its position in terms of the depth. Whereas this is just sideways, up and down. The Z space will move it farther, backwards or forward, depending on where your camera's at. And with the rotation, well, you get the idea. So when you create a camera, essentially all it's doing is rotating around it to create those same results. So let's go ahead and create a camera, move up to layer, new camera. And the 35 millimeter settings are fine. You can press C to toggle through the options of the camera. Here's an orbit tool. Or you can just pan around in your scene, or you can track in and out with the zoom. You can also access the camera tools up here on the toolbar. So that's the basic gist of the camera, but to take it to the next level, you can start creating a basic room by just adding a few solids and making those 3D layers. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. Go to layer, new, solid. You can make this kind of a light gray, why not? So that's not great with the text. We'll go ahead and make the text a little darker. So with the solid, go ahead and turn that into a 3D layer. And if you bring up the rotation elements by pressing R, you can take this down 90 degrees. And then with this blue arrow here, the Z space, you can drag it down and turn it into a floor. If you drag the edges, we can extend it to make it as big as we need to. We'll go ahead and duplicate that. Command D. And rotate that one back up. Let's change the shade here so we can see what's happening. We'll also go ahead and grab the Z space and push it back farther in the scene. There we go. So we have a basic room, but it doesn't look like much because it's just a flat line. So what we want to do is bring some lights into the scene and that'll add some dynamics to make this start looking a lot better. So go ahead and go to layer, new, light. And there's several different lights. Uh, the spot and point are going to be your go-tos. Ambient will change the lighting of the entire scene. So let's go with something a little more dramatic. Uh, let's just choose the spotlight. Uh, default settings are fine. And we do wanna check the cast shadows button. If that is not checked, then we won't be able to cast shadows onto the floor or the wall here. So make sure that is checked. Um, and this can be changed later in the layer settings. So there we go, right away you can see that this light is, is uh, casted onto the floor and the wall. We don't see a shadow coming off the text yet, and that's because we need to enable it um, in the layer setting. So go ahead and go to your text layer. Let's twirl that down. If you double tap A, you can bring up the material options here, and we need to turn cast shadows and switch that on. And you'll see now we're casting a shadow from the light onto the wall, and if you move the light, the shadow will adjust to the perspective of the light, which is pretty cool. And as you may have seen in the previous screen, we can adjust the sharpness of the shadow from the light that is casting it. So if you go to your light and click light options, 
can start to adjust the darkness and how that shadow is diffused there. Let's go ahead and add a, another light and see what happens. You can really start adding some more dynamics to your scene here. Okay, now that we have that, let's go ahead and experiment with some camera moves. Now if you go ahead and press P on the camera, hold shift and press A, that'll also bring up the point of interest. And what we want to do is make keyframes here. So this is where it'll start. Now let's go ahead and go down about 100 frames. And we'll just add a little rotation to the scene. It'll extend this background here. Let's go ahead and see what that does. Now I'm going to create a little render area with N. Let's go ahead and preview that. All right, well, that's a little too slow. Let's go ahead and make the move a little more dramatic. Now, if we want to get really low, we can also just move this floor down so we can get that low. So I'm going to go ahead and select my floor layer. I'm just going to push it down even farther. You know, you know what? We can do whatever we want when you're uh, the animator. Since the scene is looking pretty dark, this is where we can go ahead and add an ambient light, which will just boost the overall uh, lighting of the room. It's a little too much, so I'm going to turn that down. So clearly our wall is not uh, going as far as we need to, so we'll extend that. All right. Give that a look. All right, pretty cool. The design is terrible, but you see how the camera is rotating around it, and that is what counts, right? So the cool thing about ZSpace is you can have several objects. For instance, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this text, and you'll see we have a second copy up here, and we can really bring it forward Make it a different color so you can see. You know, so we have this now in the foreground. And when you move your camera, you, know, you can see how it's way in front. All right, so one other thing with the camera, we can actually enable depth of field, which will blur out uh, certain parts of the scene based on where the focus is set on the camera. So to turn that on, go ahead and open your camera layer, go to camera options. We're gonna turn depth of field on. You might have noticed the foreground layer got a little blurry, but to make it more intense, we can adjust the aperture here. And you'll see how that foreground element is really starting to blur out, which is cool. All right, guys. Well, that is the basics of cameras, lights, and Z-Space. I hope that that was helpful. Come visit our blog at modio.tv blog or leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. I'll see you next time.